Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to learn all about the violin. My son just brought this one home from school. Let's get started. Protected in its case, this violin is old and has been played by many students over the years. Although it's a beginner's violin that's showing its age, it has the same parts as a brand new violin. Now let's go over the different parts of the violin and the bow. At the top of the violin is the scroll. The scroll is typically carved in the shape of a volute, a rolled up decorative spiral. Tuning pegs. Tuning pegs are adjusted to loosen or tighten strings. As you tighten a string, its pitch gets higher. As you loosen a string, its pitch gets lower. Peg box. The peg box is where the tuning pegs are inserted. Notice the violin strings wrapped around the tuning pegs. Nut. Below the peg box is the nut. The strings are evenly spaced apart on the nut, and it slightly elevates the strings. Fingerboard. The fingerboard is a smooth black piece of wood found underneath the strings. Neck. The fingerboard is attached to what we call the neck of the violin. Strings. There are four strings on this violin. The first one is tuned to G, the next is D, then A, and finally E. Body. Below the neck of the violin is the body. The body is the largest part of the violin and has an hourglass shape. Let me point out three specific areas on the violin now, starting with the upper bouts. The upper bouts are the two curves and the upper half of the violin pictured as one upper bout. Center bouts. The center bouts are the cutouts in the middle of the violin's body. They are also referred to as C bouts. Lower bouts. The lower bouts are the two curves at the bottom of the violin below the center bouts. F holes. There are two F holes on the violin. They are called F holes because they look like a fancy lowercase letter F. They help direct the violin's sound. Bridge. The bridge is a thin piece of wood that the strings sit on. Fine tuners. Below the bridge are the fine tuners. These screws can be adjusted to fine tune the pitch of the violin strings. In general, the pegs we mentioned earlier are for big tuning adjustments, and the fine tuners are for small tuning adjustments. The tailpiece is next. It's where the strings are attached to the bottom of the violin. End button. The end button is found at the bottom of the violin body. It helps hold the tailpiece firmly in place. Finally, we have the chin rest. It's a curved piece of wood or plastic that attaches to a violin to provide a player with a comfortable place to rest their chin. Now let's go over the violin bow. Stick. The wooden part of the bow is called the stick. It can also be made out of carbon fiber. Hair. The other main part of the bow is the hair. It's usually made out of horse hair, but synthetic hair is also available. Tip. The tip of the bow is where the hair connects with the stick. Winding or wrap. The winding or wrap of the bow is there for proper weight and balance. Thumb leather. The thumb leather helps the player grip the bow. Frog. The frog is the end part of the violin bow that houses the mechanism made for tightening and holding the bow hair. Most bow frogs are made of ebony. Ferrule. The ferrule is the metal piece that sits at the tip of the frog and keeps the hair spread evenly. Screw. The screw on the bow allows you to loosen the bow hair when you are not playing your violin for storage or tighten your bow hair when you are ready to play. Turn clockwise to tighten, turn counterclockwise to loosen. Finally, here's an extra item. We have rosin. Rosin, which is applied to the strings on the bow, helps the bow grip the strings and produce sound. Don't forget to rosin your bow before you play.
I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.